First of all, I'd like to thank everyone for giving me this opportunity because I actually came to this conference for you to teach me and to learn much more and learn I definitely have. <laughs> and I too, as Jason is, um, am part of the R5 to 4 generation, so I'm, I'm the fruit salad, they say. <laughs> Got a lot of colors on my epaulets. Um, and I too, once I had qualified for four years and had done six months of midwifery training, felt completely inadequate, was placed in midwifery maternity to do my community service, and I was just so overwhelmed. I had all these women, and I'd started in labor ward, and I just, I didn't know what to do. And I'd been trained, I was meant to do it, I'd filled out my logbook, my 15 deliveries, I was ready. <laughs> And I stood in front of these moms and they probably taught me more in the first three weeks in labor ward at Mowbray than I could have ever taught myself. I still kind of felt inadequate, so I went to go and do my advanced and I did a little education in the interim. And um, I somehow found myself here today teaching the midwifery diploma at Stellenbosch University. So those of you who have the fruit salad like I am might not know what the diploma is, but the diploma is just one year where you can go and get your green bar. And so that registers you then as a midwife. Okay. Um, now today, I, I know that Dorothy was going to say that we ultimately in South Africa need to have a direct entry in midwifery, which is obviously the golden standard and we know that. And we know there are a lot of people that are for that. And there's a lot of barriers in their way, OK? Um, I know my program is not the ideal, but I do feel that one year is better than six months. Um, and so I would like today to go through what SANC is put on their website and is going to be implemented in 2016. Does Everyone maybe already know this, or do we not have an idea? Okay, I don't see, I see one shaking head like yes, but the majority is no. Okay. So the changes, I don't know if everyone can see that. Um, Sank brought out a notice that from, um, it, the notice was already brought out in 2012, but Sank said from June 2015, that um, they are going to be ruling out the legacy um, qualifications. So that is a, a good thing for us. So the fruit salad is now going away, okay? And essentially that's what we've kind of maybe wanted, okay? So let's have a look at why they wanted to do this. Now those of you who studied the fruit salad, you might also know that there was many ways of doing that. You could have either gone to the college and done the diploma, or you could have gone to the university and done a degree. And um, those of you who did a diploma might feel that you were better trained clinically, and those of you at the university might think you might have more theory. I've heard that being repeated a lot of the times. But the real problem that comes with that is when we were taught at the college, we were taught on one NQF, which is the National Qualification Framework, and that is qualification six. And so that's quite a low um, level, but essentially it was on seven. And then when we went to go and do the degree, because it's four years, essentially it's no longer on NQF seven, it's on NQF eight. So we were doing essentially the same thing, registered as the same thing, but we were obviously paying different amounts of money for our qualification. And there was kind of a discrepancy between diploma degree but we were doing the same thing. So Sank has tried to kind of bring us all on the same level with this new qualifications that they're bringing out. So if you look on the slide there, you can see that we're gonna have a diploma in nursing, which will be a NQF six, and that's gonna be a three year um, qualification. Um, and it's got 360 credits, and that will be your diploma in midwifery, uh, no, sorry, diploma in nursing. 
and it will, they say that it's going to be equivalent to the staff nurse, but she will essentially get um, a red epaulette, okay, or your maroon epaulette. And then those people will qualify to then go to NQF7, and they can do an advanced diploma in midwifery. So that will be 120 credits, and that would be another year. So essentially then there would be a um, registered professional nurse with midwifery. The alternative is then you could either go to um, do a bachelor's of nursing, and that's a postgraduate diploma, and that's equivalent to 480 credits, which is four years. And that is going to be integrated with midwifery. Okay, so you'll be essentially doing a bachelor's of nursing with midwifery in it as well, which we'll go through in a second. So just to put um, this into perspective, this is what SANC has proposed in this stakeholder document, and there is a reference at the end if you'd like to maybe look at the whole document in context. And you can see that um, the ones that would apply to us is the diploma in nursing, um, which would then qualify you to then gain entry into the advanced diploma in midwifery, and then the bachelors of nursing. So essentially, what does this look like for midwives? Because that's what we are, and that's what we want to be. So essentially, if we want to now become a midwife and we, know, we aren't already, we could either do the three-year um, the um, diploma and then go and do the advanced diploma in midwifery. Now, this is going to become a little bit confusing because we're going to say advanced diploma in midwifery, but it's not exactly what we're calling the advanced midwifery currently. And the reason why they've given it the name, the advanced diploma in midwifery, because it meets the NQF. Remember what I was saying about the colleges offering it on a different NQF 6, and then we were doing the degree on 7 and then 8. So this kind of just makes sure that those sisters who are paying for the degree are now actually getting the correct NQF level. And um, then there is also um, a subsection in this um, advanced diploma in midwifery that has a progressive rule. And then the progressive rule is that if you then did your advanced diploma in um, midwifery, you could then do the advanced diploma in midwifery is the minimum entry requirement for the admission for a postgraduate diploma. Because then essentially you could do then a postgraduate diploma, which would be an equivalent to what we now call the advanced midwifery. Then the bachelors of nursing. Now most of us might think that that is the ideal because we might place a lot of value on degrees going to the university. So let's just have a look at how the um, bachelors in nursing is going to integrate midwifery. So um, the bachelor's degree, which will then be the um, NQF 8 and the four year um, program, they say, Sank says, that um, of importance in this proposed qualification is the scope. The graduate will be more comprehensively qualified than before, before being the fruit salad, with a scope that includes obstetric skills, mental health, and primary health care. And they will have first level contact and provision of health services with a referral system in operation when cases are beyond their scope. The exit outcome, the last exit outcome of this bachelor's degree is to maintain optimal health of women, her family and her baby, prepartum, postpartum and intrapartum. And then if, we, then if we look at the breakdown, it's like Jason says, I think it's moving away from illness. It's still not quite promotative or pro, um, promotive. It's slightly more illness focused, but there's a lot of things there. Preparation, history taking, physical examination, laboratory tests, well-being of the fetus, um, antenatally and growth, labor and delivery, management of the baby, um, potential actual emergency care, um, postnatal and integrated, um, and this is going to provide for long-term well-being of the mother and the child. Now, the issue is the credit system that is working now when you do one 
um, one-year diploma is 120 credits. The proposed credits for SANC for the bachelor's degree, anyone want to take a guess? 60? 80? 40? 32. Yes. So those of you who are not very familiar with credits, credit system is just a way of um, telling us how much time we can focus on a discipline. So at the moment it's 32 credits, which equals 320 hours. And this person would be registered then to work in the midwifery field. Now, do you think this is any different to the current fruit salad? Because that's a bone of contention, because how many credits were we actually spending in our four years, which is 480 credits, on midwifery in the fruit salad? Well, the problem is there was nothing specified. So each institution could do with those credit systems what they wanted. Now, I've tried to um, make this um, anonymous as possible. <laughs> So I looked at two um, areas, and this is the fourth year modules. And as you can see, this, um, they're, they're both universities. Um, both universities um, have these modules. This one doesn't specify the credit system, and they're actually very <laughs> clever in doing that. Even in their yearbooks, they don't put the credits. But they have um, five modules in their fifth year, or, sorry, in their fourth year that um, focuses on the women. So this is high-risk pregnant labor, high-risk labor, I'm um, sorry, high-risk pregnant women, high-risk labor, high-risk newborn, social cultural risk factors in midwifery, and then the practical nursing um, component, which is midwifery. So they don't put their credit systems there, but that's five mo uh, modules, which sounds like a lot. But as you can see, these are currently the fruit salad, and it's like Jason says, focusing on illness. Then if we look at the second degree, and this is, um, you can see level, the level, um, sorry, level three modules, so midwifery is um, presented in this course in the third year. And you can see that they've only got two models, modules um, in the semester one or two and that's midwifery 331 and midwifery 332 and they have a total credit rating of 45. So it's 450 um, national hours. So what have you, what have I done as an educator? Because <laughs> I suppose that's what we would want to know, what have I done? Um, I have very minimal standing but what I have given is um, our HOD or our acting HOD um, documentation to go to Fundisa, which is the education um, association, and to go directly to SANC, which they have to also be very careful of doing, to maybe ask them if we could maybe re-look at the credit rating. Okay. So that has happened, and um, I don't hold any responsibility for this, but I hope that my little two cents <laughs> <laughs> might have infiltrated somewhere. So last night I checked again. This is on SANC's website. And um, as you can see at the bottom there, there's a PDFs for bachelor's in nursing, diploma in nursing, higher um, certificate, auxiliary nurse, and then advanced diploma <laughs> in midwifery. And on the website, this block with the red circle is actually red. And it reads, the following documentation have been temporarily removed from SANC's website while they are being corrected. <laughs> We apologize for any inconvenience caused. We will um, publish the revised documents as soon as they are available. The problem is a lot of the undergraduate um, nursing schools and that um, are going to provide the new undergraduate curriculum have already submitted their curriculum. So it's already based on this 32 credit module. Some of them haven't already, so that obviously can be adapted should the credit rating um, be changed on this. But the whole plan is that from next year, there'll still be an intake, 
and then thereafter we're going on the new qualification. And yeah, that's that. And if you'd like to um, check any of the references, they are there. And then please just keep on checking SANC um, for the updated modules whenever they are corrected. Thank you.